Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Maximum Window Hot Tips. My name is James Common, I'm a product design graduate and Maximum Window Mentor and Tutor in South East England. And in today's episode I'm going to be looking at the Materials Override and Default feature inside Maxwell Studio. So let's get started. So here I am in Maxwell Studio and I have this DeLorean DMC12 from Viz People and I've applied lots of lovely materials to it and it looks rather nice. However, Maxwell Render has a feature which can override all of the materials in this scene without having to change them or remove them from the objects. It's over in the Render Options window under the Materials tab and if I enable the override feature here and then select a material to override with, for example this Carpaint Cherry material, and then enable Fire, as you can see, despite the fact that I have all of these materials applied to the actual objects, one single material is being used for the, all of the objects in the scene. Now why would you use this? Well, I'm going to select a very very basic material, for example the default material, and now my scene is rendering very very quickly, because the material that I've selected isn't very render intensive, so I can move about my scene with ease, and the fire window is updating very very quickly. So I can find new angles, and I can still see the diffuse lighting on the car. And I can very very quickly get an idea of what angles look good. Now this would be possible without the override feature, but it would almost certainly be slower because of the fact that these materials are more render intensive. There's some transparency, there's a lot of roughness and reflection, so I can override that instantly and get a much faster look. And also as well as using a diffuse material, I can of course use a reflective material to quickly see where my reflections are going to be. And this will still be faster, especially in large scenes, than using the default materials. But now let's say that before you've actually applied any materials, you want to change the default material that appears in the fire window. That's just below the override option, in the render options window, in the materials tab, and then in the default dialog box. Click this little folder icon, and then select whatever material you want to use as the default. And now you can set up the lighting in your scene, set up the camera, and start applying materials, all the while looking at the material that you want. And that's your hot tip for today. How to override existing materials and set the default material in Maxwell Studio. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at jcommon underscore design. Any questions or suggestions send them to maxwellrenderbrightonctt at gmail.com. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.